Are you serious? Are you serious? Do not miss tonight, Sunday night live. What? Yes, a lot to talk about. First of all, folks, we are going to talk about the fact there's a young uh, Yiddy woman uh, that's begging for the United States of America to just bomb, uh, go ahead and bomb ISIS militants where she's at as she says, I've been raped 30 times, it's not even lunch. So she's saying, it's, it's horrific, go ahead. She's begging the United States of America, just bomb ISIS and get it over with. Uh, while that's going on, there's been a huge solar flare eruption. The biggest sunspot, it's the biggest sunspot in 24 years. There was an X 3.1 solar flare eruption uh, on this giant sunspot on Friday, of course, October 24th. Uh, the biggest sunspot on the face of the sun in more than two decades unleashed a major flare Friday, October 24th, the fourth intense solar storm from the active star in less than a week. Uh, this solar flare occurred Friday afternoon, just after I got off the air, actually, and this thing is huge. It triggered strong radio blackouts, according to the U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center. We're going to talk about that tonight, as well as uh, we've got reports, folks. Something horrific is going on. FEMA camps, disappearing Ebola patients, portable incinerators, uh, and some other very strange things have been in this information. I've been hearing about a lot of homeless people are being are disappearing. And there is rumors that some of the FEMA camps are being opened. And uh, very secretly, something's going on there. Maybe something very sinister. Has the new world order begun? The depopulization of the world by the spreading of Ebola in, in West Africa to the opening of FEMA camps, disappearance of uh, homeless people, and what is the real story with Ebola. We're going to have to talk about all of that. And there's an ex-CBS news reporter who's revealing in her new book how the liberal media is protecting President Barack Obama in a big-time way. Well, we know mainstream media doesn't tell us the truth. Let's dig a little deeper from one of their own. And here in Indiana, there's a town that's moving to seize 350 homes to make room for a private developer. Just take the homes from the people, move them out, so that a private developer can build uh, some... Uh, unbelie this is unbelievable, folks. This is called in, uh, eminent domain. The government can do that, but can the government do it and then give it to private developers? Are you serious? And there's another rumor. President Obama divorce? I, I don't even like to think this way. Uh, it is a report. Uh, I'm, I would rather just pray for the president and his wife, uh, Michelle. But uh, there is uh, on, uh, on Yahoo.com, uh, it's one of the leading stories. Uh, it would be the first time ever that a divorce would happen while a couple were in the White House. Surely this must be a false report, or maybe even if it is something to it, we can pray that this family stays together. Not a good sign. There's a lot going on, of course, the shooting that took place at Washington State late Friday afternoon after I got off the air, or just as I was getting off the air, so there's a lot happened. I've been travel. I've been, actually, family, we went and spent time up in Noxonetta, where my church is, actually, but my mom and dad's 54th wedding anniversary, the family came in from all over to celebrate with them today, right after church. And so uh, yesterday and today we've been very busy with family uh, gatherings, but very necessary, and we praise God for it. So don't miss tonight, Sunday Night Live. I'll give you a full report of where ISIS is. I'll give you a full report where Ebola is and where we're at as it relates to Bible prophecy. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Do not miss tonight's Sunday Night Live from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern at my website, www.paulvegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulvegleyprophecy.com.